So Saval Gall, the Arizona transfer, gets the start. Allie Treckler wins the tip. And we are underway from First Community Arena. Makia Keith going left to right. The Cougars wearing their white home uniforms, black numbering and red trim. The Billikens in their blue road uniforms with the white numbering and trim. Michaela Kennard got an offensive rebound, but missed on the layup. And here come the Billikens into the front court. There's a pull-up jumper from just outside the uh, right elbow. No good. Michaela Kennard runs down the rebound for SIUE. Nikitanidi cross court. Makia Keith for three. A little strong. Long rebound. Tracked down by Trickler. Should I say trekked it down? I like that. Nikitanidi drives to the baseline. A little floater. No good. Short rebound there by Gall. And here's Billikens into the front court. This is Kaija Harbison, team's leading scorer and point guard. Makia Keith into the front court for SIUE behind the back dribble, hands it to Ajulu Tata, top of the key. Tata beyond the arc, left-handed pass to Keith, left side. Keith directing traffic. Treckler now just inside the arc to Nika Tonight. He fakes the three, pumps it down to Tata. Tata, turn around, jumper off the glass, blocked but a foul on Saval Gull, the transfer from Arizona, who played multiple years on the Turkish national team, called for the foul. So Tata to the free throw line. Tata this year shooting 72% at the line for the Cougars. Left-handed shooter, three dribbles, bends the knee and drains the first free throw and the Cougars are on the board. Always a boisterous crowd on hand when it's the Cougars and the Billikens whenever they hook up. SIUE, a little, little pressure. Harbison crosses the timeline with the left hand pass into the left corner. That's Warren. Warren pumps down low, wide open, missed assignment. Peyton Kennedy lays it up and in. We're tied at two. Somebody lost Kennedy underneath. Here's Makia Keith. Into the corner for Nikitanidi. To Keith, right wing, now Tata, top of the key for three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound by number three, Natalie McNeil. McNeil into the front court now for the Billikens. Dribbles down to the baseline, left-handed pass, cross court. Now a no-look pass underneath to Gull for two. Off the glass, Saval Gull. From Istanbul, Turkey. This is Treckler now to Makia Keith, left wing. Keith dribbling with the right hand, gets it to Tata. Tata now cross court to Michaela Kennard, far side. Kennard back to Keith. Keith will run the offense. Makes a drive behind the back dribble now to Tata, left wing. Shot clock to seven. This is Nika Tonighty for three. Short rebound goal. Warren dribbles the ball up the floor. Left handed hip high dribble. Down low for goal behind the defense. She's blocked and a foul. And that's going to go against McNeil and the Billikens. So SIUE will inbound two team fouls early on the Billikens. 7.08 to go first quarter. 4-2 St. Louis U. A little St. Louis Metro Crosstown clash between SIUE Edwardsville, or SIU Edwardsville and the St. Louis Billikens. Here's Makia Keith to Tata. Between the circles, right side for Nikitanidi. Clears the way for Tata underneath, off the glass. We're tied at four. Tata so good moving without the ball this season. Here's Warren. There's a shot fake, pull up jumper, good. Peyton Kennedy from about 17. Down low for Tata. Tata back to Nikitanidi for three. Gabby Nikitanidi buries a three from the left wing and the Cougars lead 7-6. Here's Harbison. Kaija Har Harbison dribbles down the lane, picks up her dribble, kicks it out for Kennedy back to Harbison left wide open and 
She misses the three off the rim, no good. McNeil, bounce pass to Gull, off the glass, no good. Tata the rebound, here come the Cougars. Nakia Keith quickly into the front court, going left to right. Drives down the lane from the elbow, a runner, no good. Gall the rebound. This pace is similar to the Western Illinois game on Tuesday, up and down the floor. Here's Warren leading the Billikens, averaging 2.9 assists per game. This is Harbison, pulls up from 18, short, rebound, Tata. Keith, quickly ahead for the Cougars. Right side for Kennard, Tata drives down the lane, turnaround jumper, short, no good, line drive shot. Off the front of the rim, Gull was there for the rebound. Gull already has five rebounds in this first quarter. The 6-4 sophomore. Into the paint, left-handed layup is good. Natalie McNeil cut through the Cougar defense for two. 8-7 Billikens. Nikitanidi feeds Treckler in the post. Treckler turns, blocked. Blocked by Kennedy, ball on the floor, and we get a held ball underneath the Billiken basket. That'll be a media timeout. We have played just over five minutes of this first quarter. The Billikens eight, the Cougars seven. As you see, Nick Tonight's three there at the break. You're watching Billiken basketball on ESPN, or uh, Cougar basketball on ESPNs with a short bench here tonight. They have just eight players dressed. On the floor for SIUE, it's Tata, Nikitanidi, Maya Rashova, Hall, and Chellis. Into the front court for St. Louis, it's Kaija Harbison. She dribbles with the right hand, goes to the corner for Bess. Bess pulls it back to Harbison from 17. No good, rebound Chellis. And here come the Cougars. Primacellis quickly ahead. This is Maya Rashova. Bounce pass is kicked by Marissa Warren. It'll go out of bounds to the Cougars. Checking back in for the Cougars, number 11, Nakia Keith for Jeremiah Rashova. Nakia Keith returns to the game for SIUE. Michaela Hall will inbound underneath the SLU basket. Bounce pass into Tata. Right corner, Ajulu Tata to Keith, right wing beyond the arc. Keith pulls it out, gets it back to Tata. Tata drives baseline, and it's deflected out of bounds by Kylie Bess. As a Tata attempted a pass along the baseline underneath the basket. SIUE will inbound with 12 seconds on the shot clock, trailing 12-7 early on here in Edwardsville. 2.51 to go, first quarter. Hall inbounds deep to Keith. This is Nika Tanidi, left wing, shot fake, drives to the baseline, pulls up, pass is blocked. Chellis trying to grab it, balls on the floor. Everyone down on the floor, goes out of bounds, and it'll go to St. Louis. Must have bounced off Prima Chellis, hard for me to see from my angle. And it'll be St. Louis inbounding. There's coach Lisa Stone for St. Louis University, longtime coach for the Billikens. There's a near side pass and they break the press. Here's Bess, two on one for the Billikens. Bounce pass on the right block, knocked away by Makia Keith as Nye Tawong tried to go up with it. But Keith hustled back, made a good defensive play. St. Louis will inbound. 2.36 to go, first quarter. Harbison pulls up off the glass, rebound SIUE. This is Michaela Hall into the front court. Hall dribbling to the baseline. Oh, uh, high off the glass, no good, no foul. Tata got the rebound for SIUE and tried to get that home, but couldn't. It rolled off the rim. Billiken basketball quickly ahead, right to left. And that one is no good. Makia Keith gets the rebound for the Cougars. Here's Nika Tanidi, right wing to Hall. Now Tata left wing drives into the paint. And no foul call. Ball is stripped by Tawong. And it'll go to SIUE. Treckler back in the game for Chellis. McNeil for the Billikens back in the game. She checks in for Warren. Be interesting to see how Coach Stone runs her bench uh, with only three bench players tonight for St. Louis. 
Hall to Tata underneath, and she's fouled. So a Julu Tata will go to the line, fouled by Kaija Harbison. Tata shooting 72% at the free throw line. And tonight, two for two so far. Cougars as a whole shooting 69% at the line. Billiken shooting 70% this season. Tata makes the first free throw. Three dribbles, left-handed shot, rims out, rebound, Kennedy. Here come the Billikens now into the front court. McNeil dribbling with the right hand, hip high dribble. Now crosses over Hall, drives to the baseline. Cross court pass for Harbison is offline and out of bounds, Cougar basketball. Kayla Kennard returns, checks in for Nikitanidi along the baseline. So a foul called on SIUE, it'll be Billiken basketball. St. Louis 14, SIUE 13, 826 to go until halftime. This is Harbison working on Makia Keith. Pulls up, found goal underneath. Goal lays it up and in. Treckler from straight away to Tata. Left block extended back to Treckler. This is Kennard left side. Dribbles to the elbow. Found Nikitanidi coming across. Nikitanidi pulls up at the free throw line. Swings it into the corner, but it's kicked out of bounds by Marissa Warren. It'll stay with SIUE. Sara Meyer-Rashover returns to the game for the Cougars. She checks in for Makia Keith. Peyton Kennedy now out of the game for the Billikens as Natalie McNeil returns. McNeil had a career high 18 points against Florida Gulf Coast. Treckler into the corner for Kennard. Kennard on the baseline found Nika tonight. He underneath as she throws it up and it rims home. Gabby Nikitanidi will go to the free throw line for SIUE. Try to complete the three point play. Look at this play, how about that pass? And then she just throws up the awkward shot and it luckily bounces home for the Cougars. Fifteen for SIUE, they have 15 points looking to tie it here. They're trailing 16-15. Nika Tanidi will try to tie it here at the free throw line. She has five points already, make it six, and we're tied, 16-16, second quarter action. There's a steal by Treckler on the full court press. Michaela Kennard misses another in close, but got her own rebound. Comes back high off the glass on the reverse. Boy, Kennard is making it a little more difficult than it needs to be, but she did get those two. Good job by Michaela Kennard. Goal underneath and an offensive foul. Call on the Billikens. Charge on Peyton Kennedy. Ajulu Tata took the charge. Prima Chellis returns for Kennard. She checks in. Look at this. Ajulu Tata took the charge off the pass by Peyton Kennedy. Coach Samantha Quigley-Smith kneeling over their far side, must be excited about that. Primacellis now right wing for the Cougars to Tata. Tata drives into the lane, the left-handed runner no good, Gall grabs the rebound. Warren crosses the timeline for St. Louis. Warren from St. Louis. Played her high school basketball at Incarnate Word. That's become a factory in the St. Louis area. And she's a transfer from DePaul, coming home to play for the Billikens. There's a bad pass by Gall, goes out of bounds. And SIUE has a chance now to build on their 18-16 lead. Leading the way for SIUE is Ajulu Tata. She has eight. Treckler, right wing, top of the key for Tata, left, left side for Maya Rashova. Maya Rashova found Chellis in the corner, back to Maya Rashova. Now Nikitanidi swings it to Tata. That's a short three off the rim. Nikitanidi got the rebound, was blocked by Bess, and Bess grabbed the block, and the Billikens have possession. 
This is Warren, far side. Left-handed pass and going the other way was Peyton Kennedy. She didn't wait for the pass, she was starting to drive. Kennedy has two fouls for St. Louis, as does Harbison. The Billikens only have eight dressed players. They can't afford to have anyone in foul trouble. Kennedy calmly buries the first free throw. Peyton Kennedy this year came in shooting 82% at the line for her career, shoots 75% at the free throw line. No problem knocking two down. And Saval Gall returns for St. Louis. She comes in for Kennedy. Nakia Keith into the front court for SIUE. At the elbow, it's a Julu Tata. She's working on Gall, drives on Gall off the glass. It rims out, but Nikitanidi's there for the putback. Gabby Nikitanidi, great positioning down on the right block. Bess. Trapped, got out of it. Overhead pass to Marissa Warren. Warren, the DePaul transfer, played her high school basketball at Incarnate Word here in St. Louis. Battle of two St. Louis area, metro area programs. A deep three by Gull and a foul underneath. They're gonna get Jada Hampton on the rebound. That's the fifth team foul, so that means free throws. The Billikens are in the bonus here in this second quarter with 1.24 to go. SIUE leads 26-23. Saval, Saval Gall shooting 50% at the line coming in for her career, shoots 38%. The Arizona transfer, too strong on the first. Second free throw is up. Falls home. 26-24 the score. SIUE leads, 123 to go, first half. Here's Makia Keith at the center circle. Drives to the left wing and then reverses to Kennard. Kennard down low for Tata driving. No good, off the glass. McNeil grabs the board for St. Louis. Here's McNeil to the free throw line. Out to number 34, Sarah Lazar. Lazar handed it back and that is batted out of bounds by Tata. It'll stay, it'll stay with St. Louis. They'll inbound near side, left corner. Gall underneath. Good inbound play by the Billikens. Gall just too tall underneath. Lays it up and in. We're tied at 26 with 40 seconds to play in this first half. A tightly contested St. Louis metro area battle between the two Division I programs in the area. 26-26, Michaela Kennard will inbound. Bounce to Nikitanidi. Backs down the defender, kicks it out to Tata for three, short. Jada Hampton flies in, and it's off of St. Louis. It'll stay with SIUE. 25.2 remaining first half, eight seconds on the shot clock. But I think, I think that shot clock's gotta go back. That shot hit the rim, didn't it? I feel like that shot hit the rim. Yep, back to 20 seconds on the shot clock. 25.2 remaining in this first half. Michaela Kennard, right wing. They're gonna hold it and run an offense here. Kennard bounce pass, top of the key to Keith. Back to Keith now, Keith between the circles. Seven on the shot clock. Kick ball by the Billikens, it'll stay with SIUE. 12 seconds remaining, shot clock off. 26-26. Steal by the Billikens. Here's McNeil. 
Five seconds, Makia Keith gets the steal. Drives in, tried to get it to Kennard, but it was swatted away by McNeil, and that'll end the first half. Wow, some great action at the end of the half, but we've now gone to halftime, and we are all tied here in Edwardsville. And the Cougars and the Billikens are tied at 26, and we are underway in the second half. A quick three-pointer by Gabby Nikitanidi from the right wing. Cougars up three, and they'll pressure the inbound. This is Marissa Warren, trapped but gets out of it. Split the defense with that pass to Peyton Kennedy. Top of the key, Kaija Harbison. Harbison, leading scorer for the Billikens. Play had to sit for a little while with two fouls. She only has two points. Harbison, a runner on the baseline, got her own rebound. Now bounces out to Kennedy. Shot fake, pulls up from 18, good. Peyton Kennedy, a long range jumper from the left corner and it's 29-28 SIUE. Nakia Keith, deep left wing, guarded by Harbison. Now Tata to Nikitanidi. Back underneath, no one was home. Harbison tipped it away. Here comes Harbison quickly into the front court for St. Louis. Harbison blocked by Treckler, but Harbison ran it down. That ball swatted away by Tata. She couldn't save it. That'll stay with St. Louis. Inbound will be in the near right corner in the front court for the Billikens. Wearing their blue road jerseys going left to right. And white numbering, white trim. SIUE in the white home uniforms with the black numbering and red trim. Little gray sprinkled on the side of the shorts. This is Warren. Spins inside the elbow. Runner no good. Tipped back to Warren. Another offensive rebound for St. Louis. McNeil pulls up and count it. She'll go to the free throw line. Foul was on Michaela Kennard. And for Kennard, that is her second personal foul. McNeil at the line, shoots 78% at the free throw line this year, 65 for her career. Calmly knocks down the one free throw. Three-point play for the Billikens, and they take the lead, 31-29. Nakia Keith setting up the offense for the Cougars. Drives inside the arc, but had it stripped. Harbison comes up with it. Left-handed pass ahead to Warren. Warren drives down the lane, hands it off to McNeil coming around. Bounce pass far side. Kennedy open for three. Strong. Tata the rebound. Good positioning. A Julu Tata into the front court for the Cougars. B pass behind Kennard. McNeil comes up with it. She drives in and Tata blocked it. Knocked it out of bounds. It'll stay with St. Louis. Sara meyer Rashova returns for SIUE. Checking in for Makia Keith. She had a big block earlier in the first half. Harbison to Kennedy. Left block extended, hands it to Harbison coming around. Scooped up off the glass, no good. Treckler's there for the rebound. She sends it ahead to Kennard, quickly to Tata. Right-handed lay-in, good. Fast break points for SIUE, and we're tied at 31. Julu Tata with 10 points now. I misspoke earlier. Oh, and an offensive foul called on Saval Gull. That's the third charge that Ajulu Tata has taken on the defensive end. That's coaching. Coach Samit, look at this. Stands in. Wow, she didn't have her feet set. I don't know if that's a questionable call, but she took the charge. She sold it. Here's Kennard now, top of the key for Nika. Tonight, right wing, quick three, short. Rebound, slew. This is Marissa Warren into the front court, left to right for St. Louis, pulls up at the left elbow, left-handed jumper, good. 33-31, Billikens. Seven minutes to go, third quarter. The, the third quarter has been a bug bugaboo for St. Louis this year. Nick, it's an ID right wing. Right corner for Tata. Down on the baseline, Tata sealed off by Gull. Gets it out to Kennard, but it was tipped away. And here comes St. Louis. 
Ball is loose, left corner, Myra Shova couldn't track it, but Warren to Gall, grabbed by Treckler off of Gall's right hand. The Billikens have been outscored in the third quarter this season. Here's Nikitinite off the glass and good. One thirty-eight to one oh one. The Billikens have been outscored in the third quarter this season. It is the only period where there is that big of a difference in scoring margin. They've been outscored in the second quarter by four points total, even in the first quarter, and they have outscored opponents in the fourth quarter. Ball goes out of bounds. St. Louis will inbound underneath the SIUE basket. Ajulu Tata taking another charge. That's the fourth time here tonight. And she has been bruised and battered here tonight. And she's over on the sideline now beyond the baseline. And she looks like she's kind of trying to stretch her back out a little bit as she walks over to the cooler. She's going to lay down. They're going to stretch her out. Boy, Ajulu Tata playing a physical game here tonight. Nick it to 90, down low for Treckler. Treckler, bounce pass to Michaela Hall on the back door, cut, poked away, but Prima Cellis is there. Prima Cellis first points of the night. She's got four rebounds off the bench for SIUE. 40 to 35 Cougars. Here's Bess now right side for Harbison, what a move. Beat Makia Keith to the basket, but a good rebound by the Billikens. Here's Best for three from the right corner, too strong. And it's on the floor, a foul called, and that'll be on Makia Keith, I believe. Tawong working hard for St. Louis down on the left block in between two defenders, Nye Tawong, the six foot sophomore from Des Moines, Iowa. Foul was called on the floor. So the officials now talking it over out there. Shot clock is changed to 20 seconds. Marissa Warren will inbound. 5'8 junior from St. Louis, DePaul transfer. Played her high school ball at Incarnate Ward, and that is just a factory. Incarnate Ward High School basketball in St. Louis. They win state championships. That's what they do. There's a good basket for Natalie McNeil off the rim, then off the glass. Fell true, and it is 40 to 37. Here's Makia Keith to Nicotinite. Prima Cellis far side. Cellis. Looking, looking, now works off the screen by Treckler, drives to the basket, she's fouled. Treckler sealed off two defenders at the top of the right elbow, and that gave Prima Cellis a lane to the basket. So Cellis will shoot two. Cellis this year, 55%, 12 of 22 at the free throw line. This is the first. Clanked it off the left side of the rim. The Cougars tonight shooting 70% at the free throw line. Chellis knocks down the second. 41-37 SIUE. Harbison trapped, gets through it. Bess quickly ahead for St. Louis. Wide open McNeil. She chose to pass up the shot, but she's fouled. Nakia Keith will get called for the reach. She thought she had all ball, but she gets called for the reach. That's the second foul on Keith. Third team foul here in the quarter by the Cougars. 1.43 to go, third quarter, 41-37 SIUE. McNeil wide open. She lost Kennard and puts up the easy two off the inbound. 
This is Keith now, right side for SIUE, pulls it out between the circles. Dribbling with the left hand now, reverses to Nikitanidi. Nikitanidi to Treckler, high post setup. She's gonna jump it, and it is no good. She went from the free throw line for the 15-foot jumper, and it rimmed out, 41-39. Billikens have a chance to tie or take the lead. Harbison's gonna set it up. Kaija Harbison, only four points tonight, two for 11 shooting. Harbison came in averaging 16 points a game to lead the Billikens. Pulls up at the free throw line, short. Long rebound back to Harbison. Harbison works on Nikitanidi, pulls it out. Now swings it to Warren. Warren a deep three and it's an air ball, SIUE basketball. Marissa Warren took a 24 foot three point attempt there and it was well off far off to the left. Treckler will inbound and the Cougars with 46 seconds to go in this third quarter into the front court. Nick to 90 to Treckler. Here's Treckler into the corner for Keith. Down low for Chellis, knocked away by Bess. Harbison ran it down, but Keith knocked it out of bounds. And it'll go to St. Louis. Good to see a Julu Tata back in the game. She's taken four charges here tonight. She has been bruised and battered. And she went for a little treatment after she came out and I feel like they were stretching out that right leg. She's gonna feel that tomorrow. Marissa Warren between the circles for St. Louis. 20 seconds to go, third quarter. 14 on the shot clock. 41-39, Billikens trying to tie or take the lead. Warren to Harbison, Harbison drives through and whoa, Euro step to the basket, no good, it was short. It'll go to SIUE with 4.8 seconds left in the quarter. They're gonna try to get a shot off before the end of this third quarter. Inbound to Makia Keith, she crosses the timeline and an offensive foul. Good, good play by Harbison, that's a veteran play. She took the elbow from Keith and flew backwards, and an offensive foul called on Makia Keith, her third. What a smart play by Harbison. Maya Rashova back in the game for SIUE. 41-39 the score. Billiken's gonna try to get a quick shot off. Harbison quickly ahead, pulls up for three. No good, off the glass. That ends the third quarter. We've played three, and we're headed to the fourth. SIUE leads St. Louis. Flickens 41-39. You're watching on ESPN Plus, tuning in also on 88.7 The Sound in the SIUE Cougar Network. My name's Randy Molman. We head to the fourth quarter. And the SIUE Cougars hold an advantage. Nick it to 90. Ooh, that was halfway down. Bounced out. Myra Shova down low, fighting. And it'll be a, a, a held ball underneath the basket. Sara Myra Shova. Tied up Kennedy and uh, possession arrow to St. Louis, but it's good work there by Maya Rashova, the sophomore from Kosice, Slovakia. Offensive foul called on St. Louis. I think they're gonna get number three, Natalie McNeil. Offensive foul and it'll be Cougar basketball up two. Maya Rashova going right to left for SIUE to Tata between the circles. Back to Maya Rashova, left wing, found Treckler on the left block. Treckler backing the defender up. Off the glass, good positioning by Kennedy. Nick it to 90 on the floor, and another jump ball. This one will be, will stay with SIUE. They have the possession arrow, 41-39 the score, 9.19 to go. Kaija, uh, Kaija Harbison, has just four points, two of 14 shooting. She's averaged 16 points a game this year. And the Cougars have done a really, really nice job defending Harbison. Inbound deep left wing for Nikitanidi. Here's Kennard. Kennard drives down the lane off the glass. Count it, Michaela Kennard. Driving to the basket for two. Maybe three, and one for Kennard. Kennard now has eight points, 
three of nine shooting. She's two for two at the line. Cougars up four. Now up five, that matches their biggest lead of the night. 44-39. The Billikens playing shorthanded here tonight, just eight players dressed. And really just seven getting minutes. Lazar has only played one minute for St. Louis. So the Billikens playing just seven players due to injuries and illness. Just a rough go for them. Harbison, a good stutter step down the lane for a scoop and score. It's 44. 241. Treckler, top of the key for SIUE to Myra Shova, left wing guarded by Harbison. Myra Shova bounce pass to Kennard at the elbow. She'll fire up a shot. No good. Rebound, McNeil. And then Treckler got the reach in and held ball once again. Man, the Cougars just fighting tooth and nail here tonight. They lead by three. Possession arrow, St. Louis. Harbison jogs the ball up the floor for St. Louis. Sets up the offense for the Billikens. I'm expecting Kaija Harbison to go off here in this fourth quarter. She's been held to just six points and that is just, there it is. There's a jumper from the right elbow. Harbison now starting to heat up for the Billikens. Not a good sign for SIUE. Nikitinite down low for Tata. Tata guarded by Gall got it out to Myra Shova, deep left wing. Myra Shova spins, dribbles to the corner. Got it poked away by Harbison. Lazy dribbling and Harbison poked it away. Best brings it into the front court. Harbison for three, good. Kaija Harbison is starting to heat up for St. Louis. Came into the quarter with just four. Asia Harbison is heating up for St. Louis University. Three for three from the field in this fourth quarter. 11 points total. That's now 23 straight games. Harbison has scored 10 or more points. And she came into the quarter with just four points. The Billikens get a turnover. They lead by two. They're on a 7-0 run. And it's all Kaija Harbison for St. Louis. The Billikens operating with just eight players dressed here tonight. And a foul called on Ajulu Tata. Down in the paint and St. Louis will inbound. The Billikens lead 46-44. Harbison is the sixth all time leading scorer in SLU basketball history. She's getting close to passing number five with her 11 points. She's about five points away from tying the fifth place player. Gall off the rim, no good. She got her own rebound and put back. Saval Gall with a great rebound and put back. Here's Makia Keith. SIUE now down four, a 9-0 run by the Billikens. Tata to Kennard, Kennard guarded by Bess, pulls it out to Treckler, Treckler to Makia Keith, left wing. Makia Keith swings it to Tata, shoots a three, too strong, but Nika tonight, he's got the rebound, fakes the pass, goes on underneath, and lays it up and in. Nika tonight with a, a, a fake on the pass, she was gonna cross court the pass, and decided to keep it herself and go up and under for two. 48-46, that ends the run. It was a 9-0 run by St. Louis University. Best to Harbison, guarded by Makia Keith. Now the switch and Treckler guards Harbison. This is Kennedy, swings it left side for McNeil, spins just outside the paint, no good. Nika Tanidi the rebound. Here's Makia Keith into the front court for SIUE. Right side for Kennard. Kennard drives into the paint and she's gonna get called for the travel. Too many steps as she took that final step right on that OVC logo just inside the free throw line. 48-46 Billikens. They're shooting 38% from the field, 21 of 55. Harbison. Hands it to Bess, guarded by Nikitinite. Bess 
Dribbles with the left hand, left-handed pass to Harbison. She'll fire up a three, short, rebound, Tata. Cougars trail by two, 5.30 to go. Nakia Keith, left wing for SIUE. They slow things down, Nick at tonight. Top of the key, shot fake, got it to Treckler at the elbow. Allie Treckler from the left elbow. We're tied at 48. Treckler now with five points. The Billikens answer. They take a 50 to 48 lead as St. Louis answers. This is Makia Keith now right wing for SIUE guarded by Harbison. Treckler back to Keith to Nikitanidi, top of the key. Nikitanidi works off the screen and makes a three. Gabby Nikitanidi puts the Cougars back on top. She has 18 for SIUE. Bess weaves across, near side for Harbison. Harbison to McNeil. McNeil drives off the glass and good. Neither team is missing now. 52-51 Billikens. This is Kennard on the baseline, pulls up too strong. Rebound McNeil. That ball slid off the back iron. And Harbison into the front court with a one point lead for St. Louis. 3.48 to go. Harbison spins on Keith. Now drives to the inside the elbow, kicks it to Kennedy, jumper, rims out, out of bounds, knocked out. Oh my, I feel like that got knocked out by Gall, but they're gonna say it went off Makia Keith. Saval Gall reached over Keith and swatted it, but I wonder if she hit the back of Keith's hand. That's what the official's gonna say anyway, it went off Keith. Warren will inbound. Far side, Harbison, too strong on the three-point attempt. Nick tonight into the front court on the Treckler rebound. The ball bounced and deflected off St. Louis. Luckily, Tata didn't touch it. We will inbound underneath the Billiken basket. Kennard gets it out to Nick tonight. Right wing, overhead pass for Treckler, off her fingertips and out of bounds. Turnover, Billiken basketball, 3.23 to go. Billikens came in three and five. And an errant pass on the inbound. Great defense by Michaela Kennard, forcing the bad pass. And SIUE gets the turnover. And they'll inbound now underneath the Billiken basket. Kennard, bounce pass into Tata right wing. Tata to Treckler, right block extended. Now Tata picks up her dribble and gets it out to the circle to Makia Keith at the midpoint circle. Dribbles with the left hand. Now transfers to the right hand. She's directing traffic. Makia Keith to Nikitanidi to Treckler down low. Missed the layup. Rebound Harbison. She was expecting contact, didn't get it. Harbison down the lane, a block, count it. Harbison will go to the line. That's the fourth foul called on Makia Keith. And now Harbison and one will try to complete the three-point play. Harbison now with 13. This is her first trip to the line. Treckler ahead for SIUE as Harbison missed the free throw. Cougars trail by three, 2.40 to go. Treckler, overhead pass to Keith. Nikia Keith left side to Nikitanidi. Works off the Treckler screen. Tata, bounce pass down low for Treckler. Up and count it, Ali Treckler will try to tie the game. Fouled by McNeil. The Cougars were on a two minute scoring drought before that basket. 
So Ali Treckler will try to tie it with 2.25 to go. Treckler's one for two at the line. Two dribbles, stares at the net, and missed off to the right. But Nick tonight, he got the offensive rebound. The Cougars will reset. Gabby Nikitanidi, a big offensive board for SIUE. There's Treckler, top of the key, Kennard left wing. She's gonna drive baseline off the glass and in! Michaela Kennard with a great take. The Cougars lead. A Little bit of uh, fake pressure, I'd say, there by the Cougars. Harbison into the front court. Harbison. And a steal by Chellis. And a timeout called by Coach Samantha Quigley Smith. She wanted to get it called before the travel. Premich will double this year, and she was out. That hurt the Billikens, but they're hanging in here with SIUE. It's 55 54 Cougars. Nikitanidi to Kennard, right wing, guarded by Warren. Ta ta, top of the key for Nikitanidi. Down low for Treckler, off the glass, and good. Ali Treckler had great position on the left block. Cougars lead by three. Warren into the front court for St. Louis University. Timeout called by head coach. Ball. They'll inbound far side. Harbison, bounce pass in for Kennedy. Kennedy beats Tata to the elbow, but then picks up her dribble. She's gonna turn around, looking for Harbison, but how about Primacellis? All over Harbison. Now Harbison has a little space, kicked it off her foot, and it'll go to SIUE. Boy, give some credit to Prima Cellis. She was all over Harbison on that possession. Prima Cellis, great work off the bench here tonight. You won't see it in the scoring, but that defensive stand right there was phenomenal. Foul called on McNeil. She reached in on Nikitanidi. That's their fourth team foul. One more and the Cougars are in the bonus. SIUE with just two team fouls here in this fourth quarter. Warren's gonna return for St. Louis U. She comes in for number 24, Kylie Bess. Kennard will inbound. Cougars trying to make this a two possession game under a minute to go. Nick tonight. Hands it off to Kennard, right side, under 10 on the shot clock. Treckler to Nika tonight, he down low for Tata. Turn around, jumper, what a shot! With McNeil in her face! Warren into the front court, 35 seconds to go. Warren to Kennedy, poked away, but Tata's called with the foul. Billikens will call timeout once again. This will be their last timeout game. Graduate Nashville is the smartest place to stay. Prairie Farms Dairy, farmer owned, happy cows, real milk since 1938. And we will give you the Prairie Farms primetime performer and it might be that Young woman right there, Gabby Nikitanidi gets to have the points, but boy, she is so good defensively. Shut down Harbison on several straight possessions in the fourth. There, Nikitanidi's fouled there, and Gabby will go to the free throw line now. Fourth foul called on McNeil. Nikitanidi shooting 79% from the line. She's one for one tonight. She makes these two free throws. That'll make this a three possession game. So these free throws are huge for SIUE. 25.9 seconds. Nika Tanidi calmly hits the first. If she makes this, it'll be her 20th point of the night. And it'll give the Cougars a seven point lead. She hits it. Cougars by seven. 25.9 to go. Harbison trapped in the backcourt, hands it back to Bess. Bess ahead to Warren. Warren going left to right for the Billikens. Warren drives inside the paint. She's fouled. Michaela Kennard is going to get called. For Kennard, that is her third. 
Nick at tonight, 20 points, seven of 11 from the field. Wow, they called that a shooting foul? Unbelievable. Warren, first free throw attempt of the night, calmly hits it. Warren came in shooting 50% this season at the free throw line. That one rims out and SIUE Michaela Kennard grabs it and they're gonna say it's a hell ball. But possession arrow for the Cougars. Two possession game for St. Louis, but SIUE has the ball up six, 16.4 to go. Both teams right around 40% from the field. They foul Nicotinite. That's not who they wanted to foul, but that's who they foul. And so Gabby goes to the free throw line. Bess's third foul. Kylie Bess had hit six trays her last two games. And she's 0 for 3 tonight, no points. What a great job by the Cougar defense on Kylie Bess from long range. Harbison leads the way for St. Louis with on normal nights. Tonight, she is not the team leader in points. She has 13. Kennedy leads the way. Peyton Kennedy has 15. Kennedy came in averaging four points a game. Gabby hits both. 63-55 Cougars. Warren Primacellis poked it away, but it's grabbed by McNeil. She misses the jumper. Treckler's got the rebound and she gets tied up underneath and thrown to the floor. Jump ball, it'll stay with the Billikens. Allie Treckler, of course, gets up smiling and she's holding her uh, right glute. She went, she came down hard. She got thrown down. 5.6 to go, off the hands. Kennedy up, no good, and that's in, but it's gonna be .6 to go, and SIUE holds on for the victory. 63-57, SIUE holds on to beat St. Louis. Wow, what a game here at Vidal Vidalabine Center.